Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. This is perhaps one of the most important videos you will see on my channel because if you are a beginner who aspires to learn SEO, this video is for you. Before we begin, a huge shout out to our sponsors, Notex. Notex has been very kind in sponsoring this video as well as uh, uh, our previous videos because we use Notex and I genuinely believe Notex is by far the best in the competitive race because in push notification industry, Notex allows you to send push notification up to 30,000 subscribers for free. But that's just tip of the pyramid. The real benefit is you can also monetize your push notifications. So imagine you can send free push notifications up to 30,000 people on your website so that they get notified about your new product or service. And at the same time, you can make money. You can show advertisements. You can actually control the advertisements uh, that show on the push notification. So that's Notix for you. So we want to learn SEO. We want to learn how to do SEO for website. And uh, this tutorial actually focuses on beginners. And the best part is, I'm going to show you how a keyword research is done. I'm going to show you what elements should be factored in when you're writing a content. And if I'm lucky enough, I'm going to pick a keyword my website is not ranking for. And then a few hours later, I'm going to create the rest part of this video. And I'm going to show you that voila, I have ranked for my business related keyword on Google. If this excites you, sit back, grab a popcorn, and watch this video till the very end. But before you do that, one little request. Would you be kind enough just to smash the like button and hit the subscribe button on my channel? Thank you. In order to learn SEO, you'll have to use some softwares. There are many software that provide keyword research ability. I use Uber Suggest by Neil Patel, and I've talked about this in my previous videos as well. Neil Patel is one of the most profound digital marketers from US, and I've been following him for a very long time. So I use his SaaS, S-A-A-S, software as a service product called Uber Suggest, and it tells you how you can check a traffic of your website and how you can check the keywords that are less competitive, low volume, and easily rankable. More on that later. First thing first, I'm going to check website traffic of my blog being guru.com. Now, you know I'm from Pakistan. So by default, language and country is selected as English in Pakistan. And uh, you see a huge spike in the last few months. Now, I'm not worried about the traffic, even if it says I, the blog attracts around 71K organic traffic. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm least bothered about. I would ideally love to have a blog that has 500 to 1000 monthly traffic, but all of that traffic is convertible. That makes more sense than, than to have a number of eyeballs uh, who just visit your website and do not take any action. So a loyal audience is far better than a huge number. If you look at the screen, you see the traffic is rising and so are the keywords. In this tutorial, now I'm going to take you to the keyword research tool. And by clicking on the keyword overview, I'm going to type in affiliate, which is already um, uh, typed in. And I'm going to hit the search button. The system will show me the search volume for this main keyword affiliate. And it will also show me suggestions for other keywords I can use on my website. So. The main keyword here is affiliate. I want to write a blog about affiliate on my blog beingguru.com. And here are the keyword ideas the system is suggesting. So I'm going to click on view all keyword ideas, loading as we speak. And now I'll be able to see all the keywords that are, you know, reasonably easy to rank on my blog. Now here are certain elements you need to factor in. The first thing is the suggested keyword. The second thing is the volume. Volume is the number of search results performed in a particular Google search engine. In my case, it is Google Pakistan. The another element you need to look for is CPC. CPC is cost per click 
and it is advertises section and if you see money in front of your keyword column it means that advertiser are advertising using this particular keyword and it is in demand of course i can see that uh, by looking at the volume column as well but if i see the cpc it automatically tells me the keyword is in demand and then the last but not the least is the st now this is seo difficulty you see different colors in this column there is a orange color there is a uh, you know pink color and then there is a green color green color tells me that this particular keyword is easy to rank now look at the keyword it is called affiliated meaning in urdu look at the volume 1300 and uh, cost per click nothing in there and 31 is st i would not mind losing on to this traffic but hey i want to dig in deep and explore further keywords so how about i click on this main keyword to see what other suggestions uber suggest gives me loading as we speak now affiliated meaning in urdu it's pretty easy to rank um if i scroll down it shows me all other relevant keyword ideas it says it tells me included meaning in urdu affiliate marketing meaning in urdu then it says political affiliation meaning in urdu now these keywords are not relevant to me because i want to talk about affiliate marketing so this keyword does not work for me how about i just type in affiliate marketing i'm going to remove the d here to make it a active tense affiliate marketing and i'm going to hit the search button this is how you arrive to your uh, desired keyword you just need to learn how to use the system and explore the keywords people are looking for rather than just writing a blog and including the keywords nobody is searching for so that's an effort gone waste now for affiliate marketing if i scroll down i see a lot of options i see what is affiliate marketing i see affiliate marketing programs affiliate marketing definition how about i click on view all keyword ideas so that i get suggestions about all the relevant keywords related to affiliate marketing uh, scrolling down as we speak and i see a lot of options hey this one uh, just caught the corner of my eye affiliate marketing in pakistan 880 search volume and the reason why i picked this up is because its cost per click is very expensive it says 3568 per click affiliate marketing in pakistan high cost per click advertisers are paying premium money to rank this business related keyword and then if you talk about organic seo the score is 50 which tells me that you know it is worth giving a shot the next thing i need to do is i need to go to google and type in this keyword so i'm going to go to google search engine and i'm going to type in affiliate marketing in pakistan and i'm going to go through different search results here so for the top 10 business related keywords even if you are a beginner you've got to understand unless and until your website ranks in top 10 search results uh, you you're not even in a competition these results tell me that if i write a blog post on affiliate marketing in pakistan as a main keyword i think i have a fair chance of getting indexed in top 10 search results and this might just also lead to other keywords uh, where my blog can rank in top 10 search results so now you see there are different things that are shown on your screen the first thing first i will look for is called search intent search intent essentially means that if i'm a blogger and if i write a blog about this particular keyword will i get ranked the search intent also tells me the kind of content that is ranked for this particular keyword so if i see a blog if i see a website if i see a videos as you see now i think there's a good chance i should give it a shot another important element to look into search intent is to see the website domain authority i see a lot of low domain authority websites already ranking for this particular keyword if i am a new website if i am a blogger who has a new blog 
and I write about this particular keywords, I might just be lucky enough to rank in top 10 results if I provide content that is better than what is already projected by these top 10 search results. What does this mean? It means that my content has to be better than my competitor's content. Even if I'm a new website, Google is ranking low domain authority websites here. I'm a new blog and I can rank here as well. But since I do not have a new blog, I'm a seasoned blogger, I'm going to give it a try anyway. So I'm going to write a content related to this keyword affiliate marketing in Pakistan. By clicking on this keyword, I will get further suggestions, further keyword ideas about this major keyword affiliate marketing in Pakistan. Now I see the keyword ideas as uh, Amazon and affiliate marketing in Urdu, eBay, affiliate sites, and the list goes on and on. Uh, what I'm going to do is, since each of the keyword falls in a green area, the system is suggesting it's voila, good to go, and I can pick these keywords and include them in my content. Now, how do I do that? I go to my website and I start writing about five or six of these content, but make sure that I include the major keyword as a URL, as in title of my website. So if you look at my blog post, the title says, make money with affiliate marketing in Pakistan. So the major keyword is affiliate marketing in Pakistan. And I've included make money to complete the sentence in the title. I'm going to use the same keyword affiliate marketing in Pakistan at least three times in my content, at least. But then I'm going to include other keywords Uber suggests has suggested as keyword ideas in my blog as well. So now you see, I have drafted my article, written it in detail. It took me a couple of hours. There are certain things you need to know if you're writing a blog post. Your content has to be better than your competitor's content. Your content needs to have a statistical data. And I have included statistical data. If you look at the link given in the description of this video, you will see I have provided a lot of statistical data. They're talking about uh, social media, search engine optimization, the list goes on and on. So Google loves statistical data. Google loves references. Google loves complete inside out topical coverage. So I'm talking about affiliate marketing in Pakistan. It makes sense to write about all the websites that can be used and make money as an affiliate marketer. So I'm going to talk about local websites. I'm going to talk about international websites. I've included that in detail. Now you see that this article is still in a draft section, but I have included the thumbnail here. Uh, I have downloaded the thumbnail for free using a website called pexels.com. I searched for affiliate marketing and I saw different pictures, just downloaded one. But here's one thing, instead of using the name as pixel and then all the numerical numbers the image is giving me, I have renamed it as affiliate marketing in Pakistan. And the rest is history. So I'm going to hit the publish button and uh, let's see what happens a few hours later. So I'm going to type in affiliate marketing in Pakistan. I'm on Google search engine. You have seen the results uh, prior to, there you go, voila. Make money with affiliate marketing in Pakistan 22 hours ago. So the video was uh, uh, recorded yesterday. Now you see day later, the blog post is ranked in top 10 search results. Now this is pretty handy keyword. Not only it has a search volume of 880, but the cost per click is the most exciting part. Why should I miss out to this? There are certain elements that factor in. If you look at the screen, soon after publishing the blog post, I started sharing it on different social media platforms. So to begin with, I shared it on Twitter. Fast forward, I shared it on LinkedIn, and then I shared it on Pinterest. Also on Pinterest, I edit the pin, and then I provided all the information that would allow Pinterest engine to pick the keyword 
and perhaps rank it. Google loves social signals. Folks, the reason why I have shared my blog posts in different social media platforms is because Sundar Pichai, CEO of Alphabet, says that there are over 200 elements that factor in your search engine optimization and ranking of your website for your business related keywords. And one of that important element is social signals, the traffic that comes from social media websites, be it Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram. And uh, I have shared it everywhere. I have shared it in the story of my Instagram. I've shared it in the Facebook page as well as in, on my Facebook profile. Pinterest, you've seen it. LinkedIn, you've seen it. Twitter, you've seen it. All of a sudden, when the traffic comes from different social media platforms, it encourages Google, the search engine, to start picking your keywords and rank your blog. So that's what has happened of one day later, 22 hours later. The blog post is ranked for the keyword affiliate marketing in Pakistan. And when I see more reports, which I'll get in next 72 hours, I'm not gonna record a video about this, but perhaps for another video, I will also get ranked for many other keywords. Remember those keywords in the green area. So that's how you identify keywords as a beginner. That's how you write a blog post. But when you write a blog post, please see how you can improve your content over your competitor's content. Provide statistical data. Google loves statistical data. And when you are uh, done and you publish your blog, share it all across your diversified social media presence. Itself, this itself is one of the signs that uh, your content is being talked about in social media. So that's what the video was. Thank you for watching it all the way till the very end. In this video, you've seen how I picked up a keyword, wrote a blog post about it, published it, and uh, got ranked within 24 hours on Google. You can do it too. But before you even think about doing this, you need to have a website. So take a look at the description of this video. Hostinger is one amazing host that provides you 24 seven, 99.9% .9 uptime. And you can create WordPress blog. You can create artificial intelligence generated website. And for you to rank your keywords, you've got to have a website. Good luck with your purchase.